I would like to thank you all for coming tonight. Um, thank you for taking your time tonight to come to our concert. Um, we worked about three months since the beginning of the year um, on these pieces. I hope you guys enjoy. How's it going? You are probably all curious as to who I am, so allow me to explain. My name is Sam Quice, and I was very fortunate to be a student teacher at St. Louis Park High School for about 10 weeks starting late August, and it has been my privilege to work with all of the wonderful individuals behind me as well as those in the Wind Ensemble. They have been really remarkable students. I've really enjoyed my time with them, and I'm very appreciative for all of the very hard work they've put in. That piece was called Amparito Roca, and it is a Paso Doble, and for those of you who do not watch Dancing with the stars, I will explain what a Paso Doble is. A Paso Doble is like a, a similar to a tango style Spanish dance. This one particularly is one of the most famous Spanish marches in the world, which is pretty exciting to have such an accessible arrangement for wind ensemble. This was, to be honest with you all, a piece that Mr. Schmitz and I were a little bit concerned about tackling, but they are playing it faster than Mark. They're playing it with more accuracy than I would have thought possible, and I'm thrilled with the result. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I will now pass the baton to Mr. Steve Schmitz for the next piece, Elegy.
Thank you so much, Mr. Quice, and welcome once again. The next piece you're about to hear is an elegy or a tribute to sailors who perished aboard the USS Arizona in the surprise attack by the Japanese forces on December 7th, 1941. So Thursday would be the 77th anniversary of that event in history. The composer is also happens to be the manager of all of the military bands in the entire country. This beautiful lyrical piece uses snippets of a tune that you'll probably recognize called the Navy Hymn or Eternal Father Strong to Save. It also uses what is nicknamed an Amen cadence or a plagal cadence for our music, theor music theory buffs out there, a 4-1 cadence. And the Amen is after, at the end, once, we've, uh, once we realize the full weight of the tragedy. Listen for that toward the end. We will feature David Klein on offstage trumpet. We will, what's really cool, um, I really fought hard for this with our performance tours company, is that we're, we got a rare privilege, not every band who goes to Hawaii gets to do this, but we will get to play this at the USS Arizona Memorial, uh, as, as well as some other things that you'll hear tonight. So we hope you really enjoy Elegy. Thank you.
So this next piece on the program is a really lovely suite of Hanukkah folk music that includes the Hanukkah song, Rock of Ages, which although that sounds like a Jack Black movie, it is not, and uh, the dreid uh, Dreidel Dreidel, which I'm sure everybody in here has heard before, so you'll recognize that immediately. It's very dynamic, it has lots of contrast, and it's really, really cool, especially for the holiday season. I hope you enjoy. We thank you all so much for your support of the symphonic band. Already in three short months, the students are working together better as a team and improving very quickly. The skills and confidence increase daily because we have great students who take pride in their playing, really take coaching to heart, and really have pride in their band. After this band is finished, after the next piece, please wait for a brief stage change as the wind ensemble takes the stage. Our final piece was a challenge for many reasons. We needed a medley of each of the military branch songs to take to Hawaii, and it actually, our music all had to be approved by military officials months ago in August. With so many different songs, all in different key signatures and different time signatures, the hard part of a song like this is transitions, just like, like in life, transitions are hard in music. Also, the piece is seven minutes long, which is a lot of time. 
our, our mouth muscles called our embouchure are muscles. And so it is a bit of an endurance battle for us. We will feature Jeffrey Hessenis on offstage trumpet on Armed Forces. Though it is not Veterans Day, I believe there is never a wrong time to honor our fighting men and women. So if you currently serve or have ever served in the United States Armed Forces, any branch, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service. We hope you enjoy Armed Forces Pride of America.